Oh, hello. We're going to work on Dale. We've got the lid off the carburetor. Uh, I'm going to take the um, plate off and open the jet uh, area and see what I can see on the jets. I forgot what I put on there. I think I have some notes somewhere, but I found some good guides online for the 18RC. Right now, we've got a bog on the secondary. The primary just doesn't seem to have enough oomph either, but uh, there's definitely gas leaking past the carb into the into the oil, so there, it's getting too much gas, maybe overall. So I'll check out the jets, set them to the recommendation, and uh, then see if that's better. And then uh, i got to change the oil because it's got gas in it. But I'm not going to do that today. Um, I also want to put an AFR in the um, uh, exhaust manifold, um, so I need to take that all off at some point. But today I'm just going to adjust jets and see if I can make it run a little bit better, run it for a little bit even though it's got gas in the oil, and then uh, and then we'll uh, put it back in the other garage and do a lot more detailed surgery. So, uh, off we go. Trying out the 360 cam just to see if I can have an easier time setting things up and um, filming and editing and etc. I don't want to have to push the button a whole bunch on my phone. I don't want to have to use my phone as the filming device. You know, do you care about this stuff? I don't know. I would like to think that if you tell people, you know, some stuff about how you're actually making the thing, that they might be more interested in what you're doing. But at the same time, you know, if no one watches in the first place, then, you know, who knows what content might get you views, but content about making the content probably is not what gets you views. Anyway, um, I hate it. I hate all of it. So I'm trying to make it easier on myself. I don't know if this will make it easier or make it worse for me. You know, there's washers underneath all these bolts. All right, we've got... I'm afraid of those. Here's what I need to do. I need to flip this guy over. Eh, put him somewhere. Maybe about that. That's a nice. That's a nice level spot, isn't it? Sure. Also, might want to oil and uh, clean and oil the filter at some point because it's. I've never done that. Look at it. Yeah, she's dirty and uh, not oiled at all, so that ain't good. Okay, plate is coming off the vacuum line. Stay on it for now. Uh, and then the gasket has to come off nice and easy. Uh-oh, gasket's ripped. Mm. I don't think that matters too much. We'll set it down in there. And then this top plate has to come off so we can get at the jets. I'm doing this for memory. I don't know if this is a fact, but <laughs> this is the way I think it's supposed to be done. I could have watched a video or some such thing, but why prepare? What are you doing, dog? He's running. Four bolts and these two, I believe, as well, and then this uh, fuel line. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the fuel line off now. Not too hard, because it's actually uh, bigger than it should be. And I've lost the gasket, just like that. Remember, I was like, I'll just set that gasket right here. Yeah, she gone. I don't know if she made it all the way to the floor or not, but we'll dig that up later. Or we'll forget about it <laughs> entirely. All six of these are the same. There's no worry about getting them mixed up. Okay. Time to become Lucy. What's stuck? What gets stuck? Is it the float? I can't ever remember how this thing works. Carburetors, man, I tell you, they're a real piece of work. They really are a piece of work. There we go, that's out. Oh, is there a throttle thing stuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a little C-clamp over there. I forgot. This guy. 
That little itty bitty guy. Got to come off of there. I'm going to go to the other side and grab it. Am I though? I got to take my phone out. I got to lean way in here. See all these bolts? I put it right here. Remember that? You remember when I dropped the gasket? It was about to be the same thing to all those bolts. Eh, okay, a little tiny C-clip that I can't actually see. I don't know why they call it a C-clip. They should call it a can't C-clip. I can't see it at all. But I'll see if I can get it off with this. I don't... I do not... see it. I don't see the C part of it. This is what I don't see. I need some light. This is another reason why I'm but I don't use my phone. I'm not going to use my phone for filming anymore. Okay, uh, the C is up at the top there. That's why I couldn't see it. I was looking for it at the bottom. Don't read my messages. All right? They're private. This is going to go horribly. Or not at all. I just keep spinning it around and I literally cannot see where it's at. My vision is so bad these days. I'll dig in there and scoop that sucker out, but I can't. Oh, that's good. That's good. That help. That's helpful. The Jesus clip has been removed. Normally, you call them the Jesus clip. Oh, light right in your eye. We call them the Jesus clip because normally when you remove them, they just go ping and shoot off somewhere into the corner of the shop. And you say, Jesus! But we saved on that one. Good stuff. Okay, so now... Take that arm off, and now this whole top will come off. With the float, a lot of gas in the bowl. Gas looks good, doesn't look too dirty down in there. I'm going to set this on top of this guy, right here. Yeah, why don't we set everything precariously in place, and, you know, that'll be good. Okay, so, God, I don't remember which is which. Um, jet air corrector, I think. So, my notes from what I found online. Uh, 150 or 155 for the secondary main jet. And then for the air corrector, idle jet sizes? There he is. Summer! No more school. He did it. Freshman rule. Okay, right now, 145 primary main, 180 primary AC, air corrector, 60 primary idle, 140 secondary main, 200. So this, this thing says a 140 primary is about right. A secondary should be about a 150 or a 155. I'm going to go 150. And I've got it at a 200. No, no, I have a 140. I have a 140 secondary main. So I have a lower secondary main. I, I actually bumped the primary up to 145, which the primary is working good, I feel like. Yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't pick up as fast as it should, but maybe that's because of the, the air corrector or something, right? So, and, uh, I don't know. When you say air corrector, are you talking about, like, an emulsion tube or the squirters or what? These are your air correctors right here. Okay. Um, and they, uh, main jets are at the bottom of the float bowl, and the air correctors are located above the mains. Mm -hmm. So the mains, well, this is, I don't really know what I'm looking at. I need to look at a diagram. And then there's the idles, right? There should be idle jets, too, right? So, uh, I'm not really sure if those are the mains, and this these are the air correctors, then where are the idles? Oh, this on the sides? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those fellas, right? Uh, quarter block. Secondary. Hi. One He's like, now pick me up. Now I re require it. We'll, we'll just start with the mains. So the secondary is getting a 150 main and a 160 air corrector. So 
main down here. Nice and solid. Don't shock yourself on the battery. You have your hand in gasoline. Pull that guy out. See what he says. Can't see it for nothing. Should have brought my glasses in. He doesn't say a dang thing on him. But my notes say that it is a 140. So in here, I can put him over here. But what I want is a 150. I can't read any of that. The closest I have is a 145, which is what I have in the primary right now. Battery's going to die. I switched to the phone here because the battery died on the, uh, you know, fancy 360 guy. So they wanted a 150 primary and a 160 secondary. Well, all I've got is, for main jets, I've got a 140, a 130, a 145. So I did, I did the 140 and the 145. But I'm going to get some new jets and uh, make that. Uh, same with the air correctors. I don't have the air correctors that are recommended either. So I just need a whole other jet kit. This one is not for me. No. Cool. Looked up some things on the interwebs. And uh, then I also consulted the old carburetor for this car that I uh, replaced with this new carb because I thought the old carb was bad. I honestly think that it wasn't the old carb. But anyway, um, the old carb had two 140 main jets in it for primary and secondary. And then for air correctors, I need my glasses back again. My old man glasses. Put these on. Good. Good. Good look at you. Did I put them in? Yeah, they were the lowest ones I had. So they're down here. Let me take a look. That's a 170 on the primary and a 160 on the secondary, which is exactly the recommendations that I found from some random forum online for this motor. So 170 air corrector and a 140 jet with a one, uh, that's for the primary. Secondary has a 160 jet, or 160 air corrector with a 145 jet. Recommended was 150. I don't have a 150 jet. I've got the 145. So, we'll start there and see how it goes. Right now i got to put this all back together. Okay, first... The top with the float going the right way and the needle not falling out would be good. Ugh. It looks dirty. Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay. So floats down. Oh yeah, the uh, that arm has to come up and connect. I haven't changed the idle jets at all. I feel like it's idling fine. So I'm not too particularly worried about changing the idle jets at the moment. And they're accessible from the sides. So not a huge deal if I do want to change them. That's back on. Let's get our Jesus clip. I know you can't see this, but I'll be real careful. Pushing this clip on. I can't see which way it's oriented. Now I can. I'm probably right in your way, but that doesn't really matter to me at the moment. It snapped itself around. I'm going to go check from the other side and see how it looks. It looks not attached, so it looks... No? You know what? There she is. Hear that? Click! Okay. Some bolts. Screws. You know, they have screw heads. Are they machine screws? I don't think so. I don't know what you call them. Never been good at vocabulary. I figure you can call something whatever you want to call it as long as you get the right one in the right spot. Spin them on down now. I suppose we'll jump over this one. 
feels right. I'm going to do it all over again. Go in the pattern and give them all one last turn. I didn't really get them super tight before. And I'm not trying to strip them out. I'm just trying to get them nice and tight so they seat on that gasket. All right. There's all them's. Uh, now we got a fuel line. That's always handy. To have fuel is good. Not have fuel is bad. You want to have fuel to your fuel making happener. Next, we need this gasketto, which uh, is broken. It was definitely on like this. And then this feller right here. And, uh, I mean, I guess I'll put the whole thing back together. I I prefer to run it first, but I don't like to do it without the, without the air filter on just in case. Somebody's walking in with licensed music playing. That's not going to be good for my video. I don't know. No licensed music, please. Yeah, no licensed music. <laughs> Turn that off. Ah, you can't hear it. Okay. You about done? Yep. Just dinner packing. Not without a ranch. Oh, yeah. Got it. I'm going. Yeah. Dude's a booger. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put this back on. Well, we'll, we'll I'll fire it up and let it idle for a minute, and then we'll put that back on. So, which one's the secondary? Mm -hmm. They go in order as you, you know. Push the throttle open. That'd be good. Well, I don't need to get in to do it. She rolling. Oh yeah. Backing her out to test the new jets and air correctors. We still have gas in the oil, so we don't want to go crazy with it, but... Alright, time to get a seat in your face. Test drives take longer because you have to take everybody oh, yeah. on a test drive. Obviously. Everybody's got to go. Bang, 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 bang. Alright. <laughs> Climb. That was good. The primary is good. Oh, but it's climbing. Yeah. It's climbing. Okay, good. You know what I read is it's really hard to tune that bog out of these cars because it's a really hard hit between the primary and the secondary unless you have those middle stepped um, air correctors uh, or the middle stepped jets with a because I've got the. Right now I have it at 140 and 145. Well, maybe you could use a bigger main jet, but the air correctors, I don't have any five steps. I only have, you know, 10, uh, 10 digit steps. So, but that bog is just hard to, just a little there, just a little. So if you ease into it, you can, you can get past it, which is what you hope for anyway, but generally what I need it is in the middle of a corner and I step down into it to try to get it to go. I feel like there's some throttle adjustment needed, like with that, the bar. Yeah. You know how you can you can spin it out one way or the other, right? And uh, maybe figure out just how to, like, because right now it seems like it's too far anyway because it's got an idle high, right? Yeah. But if we can figure that out and figure out the right place to connect it on that cam that, that actually does the rolling over, you know? Yeah. If I can connect it in the right spot, maybe then it'll roll over more smoothly to the secondary instead of just like, bop, you know, like wide open. Third. Third. Yeah. We're in the secondary. I'm on the floor. And it's climbing all the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We got something now. Yeah, we're still rich, though, clearly. <laughs> it still feels pretty gutless, honestly, above 4,000. 4, 4, I feel like it ought to be climbing a lot harder. 
above 4,000. It has the same lack of power that, but solid drive shaft, one piece drive shaft going to a 4 to 8 rear end. That's a lot more rear end than this car ever wanted to move around in the first place, right? Yeah. And it's a, a 411 gear. Yeah. So it, it should be pretty quick, but maybe I need a 4, one of the 473 or whatever the next. Yeah. I know a 373 is a gear. I have no idea about rear end gearing, but maybe it needs something more. With the 5 speed, especially. I heard Charlie talk about how the 4 speeds are way better with a high rear end gear. So, for racing anyway. That's got guts. That's got guts. It's doing something. Better than it was. That's all we needed. So now we can do the, the valve job, get the AFR on, change the oil, and uh, start really tuning it. If we can, I mean, I can only do so much with the jets that I have, though, you know? It's not like I can, you know, I might need to order more individual jets, you know? Bog, bog, bog. Well, you just got to keep it in the secondary the whole time, then. Yeah. Why are there always people working right there? Come on, Cameron. Nope. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's just not... He's just not following through. I'm not going to turn here. We're going to see if we can get anything out of these tires. Yeah. I mean, not unless I held it wide open, you know. I'm not even sure it had both of them locked up, you know. And that's another issue is, like, the shims that are in with the clutches of the Ford rear end. You can change all that stuff, you know. And he took his best guess at, was gonna, at what was going to be right for the car. And he's like, no bog on the secondary there. Yeah, carried up. I think it could rev the 6500 real easy, but... It hit my V-Tech. Yeah. Yeah, there's not enough on the bottom either, you know? Not enough in the primary yet. So both of them need... Bumped. All right. Well, pretty successful cruise. Not terrible, anyway. Gee, man. Gee, man. You know, it still needs tuning, but that's what the AFR is for. So, we clear that garage out here, then uh, I can put this car in there and get the tuning. Yeah, uh, that'll be all for now. Need a dyno. Oh, we do need a dyno. Look at all these cars. They all want to be on a dyno. Everybody wants to go on a dyno. But it would be a lot easier to tune if I didn't have to drive it. Alright, well, I think this is just going to be a video. That'll be it. That's enough for one.